the opposition. Mr. Speaker, our priorities are, priorities are clear. We're going to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. Stop the auto theft that has run rampant under this Prime Minister. He's now throwing a cape over his back, claiming that he's the hero on auto theft, but it's actually tripled in Toronto, and it's up by 100 percent in Montreal after he brought in catch and release and house arrest for car thieves, and after his incompetence allowed our ports to spin out of control and our cars to be exported to overseas crime and terror networks. Why doesn't he reverse his policies instead of another meeting? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, this is a serious situation. Canadians are concerned about this. Uh, when the Conservative leader just chooses to whip out his empty slogans and continue uh, to blame everyone, well, we're getting to work. We're pulling together stakeholders and leaders from across the government uh, to look at from across governments to look at uh, what more we can do. We've had we've seen successes. CBSA agents have intercepted over 1,600 stolen cars uh, last year in 2023. But there's more to do. We're going to continue to make uh, the steady uh, work and investments necessary to keep Canadians safe and to keep crime down. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. To keep crime down. Crime is way up. Violent crime is up 40 percent under this Prime Minister. And uh, today he, held, he had his ministers hold a big press conference as their solution. And in it, they put out a press release that said, and I quote, in 2022, approximately 9,600 vehicles were stolen in the Toronto area alone, representing a 300 percent increase since 2015. End quote. Wow. What happened in 2015? <laughs> hmm, what happened? I know. He happened, Mr. Speaker. How can we make him unhappen and stop the crime? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. In 2015, Stephen Harper presented a budget that had slashed funds for policing, slashed funds uh, for CBSA officers, a slashed funding for Veterans Affairs Services, and we were there to clean up the mess, to cut taxes for the wealthiest 1%, lower them for the middle class, to support families, to start moving forward on gun control in real ways while the Conservatives rosy up to the American gun lobbies. We've continued Leader of the Opposition. Wow, is he ever losing control of himself? <laughs> oh my goodness. Screaming and hollering like that. Mr. Speaker, it's, it's his press release yeah. that says that in Toronto, auto thefts are up 300% since he took office. Exactly. His solution? is to hold a summit. He held a summit on food prices. Food prices went up. He held a summit on housing. Housing costs doubled. How much is crime going to rise after all the bigwigs go to his summit? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition has trouble believing that we would actually include real facts in our press release, something he and the Harper government never did for years. Yes, Mr. Speaker, there is a real challenge around auto theft in this country, and our solution is to roll up our sleeves, pull together partners from across the country, and get to solving it. His solution, throw his hands up in the air, blame a, a raft of, uh, of political continue uh, to see uh, that he's not putting forward any real solutions, Mr. Speaker.